Whew. That was a tough training session if you ask me. You know, most triathletes are actually quite busy people. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a triathlete and I want to sound like I know what I'm doing. It's actually free sport, free sports in one sport. So you need to free train three disciplines. And even if you're like a better athlete, some people even take strength training. So that's also one more thing to consider. So if you're a standalone guy who has work, family, or pets, friends, any kind of social life, triathlon is, is actually gonna be quite hard for you. And balancing out your training life with your life life, that's a whole nother sport. So in this video, when I get ready, I'm actually gonna be talking about uh, time management because again, it's a huge issue for triathletes. I'm gonna be talking about proper time management, a few tips that can actually help you guys orient yourself better and make better prioritization. So yeah, stay tuned after the intro. So what I figured to do is man, best way to actually talk about organizing your day is to show you how I organize my day. And this is gonna be a vlogging video. He brought me a slipper. And yes, it's a cliche, but I take a cup of coffee every morning, like I needed to wake up. So right off the bat, the first thing that you can actually do for yourself is to make yourself a routine. Now, what I just showed you is my basic morning routine. I've been doing it for a several years now, and it's what I do every single day. I wake up, get my shit together, I take my dogs out for a walk, and after that I'm gonna have some coffee, read the news, and usually head to work. But since it's quarantine, like, I'm not gonna do that now. Now I work from home, so I have a bit more time for myself in the morning. But still, it's what I do from every day, from 8 a.m. until 9 a.m. It's as simple as that. When you have a routine, you're doing it constantly, it becomes automatic for you. So instead of spending, uh, let's say, half an hour every day on a certain thing, you're starting to spend like 20 minutes, 15 minutes, because it's like it's embedded in your head. So you're spending way less time being as efficient as you would. So don't you do that just for normal things. Most of these tips are going to be routine based. So uh, yeah, right off the bat, routine. The second thing you can actually be doing is uh, memorizing your workouts. Now it may sound weird, but memorizing your workouts and knowing in advance what you're gonna be doing throughout the week saves time. So when you know that you're gonna be having 
let's say okay you can't have a swim these days but you're gonna be having a running session a one hour running session and Wednesday uh, you can have everything prepped in uh, by Tuesday night so you're gonna know what the weather is gonna be like and whether you're gonna do the workout right at the morning or at night so but with that you can organize the rest of your day so if your work day is from 9 to 5 like most people have you're, you can do the workout at 7 and still get ready for your work or you can do it on your lunch break if it's a shorter workout if you're doing two workouts also a great way to squeeze in several extra training sessions is during the lunch break it's what I've been doing these days in quarantine like I do some uh, core circuits for 30 minutes but it's a great way to just like put in more work and squeeze in more work in less time during the day so yeah something i definitely recommend is prepping in advance and that's also what my next step is going to be so my third tip is actually also very useful and it, at first you might need sometimes to getting time to getting used to it but when it becomes a routine again it's going to be a way simpler on you and you're going to have so much time on your hands the third tip is food prepping now, I know what you're gonna say, food prepping is something that mostly bodybuilders do, but you could use some tips from other sports. So, like, knowing, again, knowing in advance what you're gonna eat solves you the problem of making the breakfast then. So if you have free time at night, which most of us honestly do have, you can use that time or 15 minutes to make an overnight oatmeal that you're gonna be eating in the morning. It's like one cup, half cup. Oatmeal can stay healthy for like, two to three days in the fridge so making a big batch of overnight oatmeal and just like grabbing it for the next three days it becomes monotone but it's number one it can be healthy if you know what you're doing and number two it's also very useful it's gonna save you a bunch of time so yeah try get on the internet find some recipes get on that food prepping it may be more difficult for lunch, but definitely breakfast, snacks, and dinner can be solved these ways. So it's time for my lunch break, and I'm heading off right now to do my running training for an hour and 10 minutes. It's going to be a tempo run, so I, hopefully I won't freeze because I'm in shorts. But we're going to see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well, and I'm going to talk to you after it. So there's like a lot of, there's a lot of cars over there, a lot of cars over here also. What the hell is going on today? <laughs> I had no idea what's going to be happening today. Yeah, yeah, anyway, uh, running time, whoa, actually not running time yet, I, I, I want, the, the whole point of this vlog is to talk about time management, but yeah, time management. A good way to uh, be more time efficient is to get actually a training plan. If you don't have one, you can get one for cheap. There are free ones on the internet if you don't have money for a trainer. Like, it's all game. Hey. I, I had no idea who that guy is. But anyway, uh, get a training plan. A training plan is a great way to actually maximize your time efficiency. You're not gonna know when you have each training session. You're not. You're gonna know what you have to do on that training session. It's just not like mindless time spending. It's actually concrete stuff that's gonna have the building base, the pre-race stuff that is gonna have the taper period, tapering period. It, 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 it's just more time efficient. So uh, if you don't have one, just Google uh, free triathlon training plans and insert the distance like 
free Ironman training plans and you're gonna find some of those. Like people are putting out stuff for free. Even if you're not a triathlete, if you're just a runner, just Google like free half marathon training plan. There's always gonna be somebody that wants to help other people for free. Trust me, like people doubt how generous other people are. So just like Google that stuff, find something, it's gonna save you a ton of time. Your family is gonna thank you. Your dogs are gonna thank you. Work life, your sleep schedule, they're all gonna thank you. Just find a concrete plan and follow it through the race period, like preparation period. But yeah, with that being said, now I'm gonna go and run, but see you after this. I realize like 70% of the videos I make is just like me grunting being like Ugh. <clears throat> uh, Yeah, I I'm sorry about that guys, but I finished the training session. It was it was very good actually it was, On some certain spots it was hotter than I expected But all in all a good workout session, but never mind that one tip I can give you guys is actually to utilize training at home whenever you can whenever you're tight on time like the majority of your workouts should actually be outside but some workouts like uh, hill sessions low cadence sessions uh, or uh, sprints yeah, on the bicycle can actually be done on the trainer at home and it takes only an hour an hour and a half well if you're going outside for a session you need to find a hill uh, you need to check the conditions you need to get dressed go watch for cars and those tiny little details that take up time so instead of doing a short session you're gonna be doing much longer session and it's Jesse you know you just gotta say hi to those people uh, the cycling community I mean like the sports community in the city in general I, I love those guys but yeah uh, do as much as you can on uh, at home not the key sessions but tiny sessions can be done at home instead of uh, doing one hour easy run you can always go home and uh, jump some rope it's also very effective for uh let me go here it's shade one here uh you can do one hour, uh half an hour an hour of uh, rope jumping it can be as effective it's not going to be running but it does work your lungs it does work your legs just be careful not to over over stress your tendons uh, as i said for cycling it's also a great idea and instead of swimming you can do uh high reps, low weight sessions, which are not gonna be as stimulative. I, I, I'm really used to this by now, like it's insane. But yeah, you do that to replace swimming sessions because, because like nobody can swim these days. No swimming these days. But yeah, that's it. Uh, as for me, I am gonna go get dressed and drink some water hopefully eat and I'm gonna get some coffee with my friend he's actually a photographer he's a guy that does he, he does most of the stuff like some of the b-roll that I do is his and like major respect for that guy he he really understands camera videography he's actually the guy that got me into this even though ironically he's not youtubing himself like or filming anything but hopefully he's gonna get there hopefully he's gonna make me better yeah we're gonna see uh for now i just i just want to go eat something i'm hungry like a uh, mother i'm such a fucking granny like i i like to spend time looking what other people are doing look at these kids like this guy Where's my finger? What? This guy. He's gonna be the next Messi. And this guy? Nobody's gonna like him. Wait, his wife is gonna leave him. You can see it already in the way he runs. <coughs> Kinda dark. <laughs> but yeah, kudos to the kids. Nice work, kids. So, it's the end of the day. I finished work. I did my workout. And now I'm headed off. Let me just turn on my car. I'm headed off to see my friend. Uh, we're gonna 
get a quick coffee. The good side of it, uh, he's Turkish. He's an English speaker, so you're gonna be having proper English content if I can make him talk about any of it. But yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Uh, maybe also do a better sound check. Uh, so yeah, let's head that. Which way? That way. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah, the dogs always come first. <laughs> this is Yasin. He's the Turkish guy that shoots me. I only have coffee, Yasin. <laughs> it's okay, I can survive. Anyway, while I'm vlogging on my phone or the Osmo, he has this. Also, the light is horrible. Wait. Okay, no, he has this. What your secret setup? <laughs> You put it. You put on your video like I use this, 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 and you're like, oh, don't show it. <laughs> hey, that's my car. But all in all, not a bad view. Arkadaş. <laughs> what? What did you say? <laughs> he has a shit ton of gear more than I do. Like I have 1,000. He has like 20,000 dollars worth of gear, and he doesn't want yes, to do. Also send the location. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go head home, make some myself something to eat. 